Hello, we are, today we are going to learn about solar cell characteristics. Okay. So see the circle, this is the board. We have the solar cell characteristics board. This is the one. Okay. This is the, what is the aim of the experiment? We calculate the field factor and series resistance of solar cell. Okay. How to connect? What is the apparatus we required here? That one. The apparatus we required here, that one. First one is a voltmeter. Second one is a ammeter. So third one is a power supply. This is indicating power supply. Okay. Next, uh, sorry. Uh, next uh, here that one, one light to provide that one uh, photons. This is a solar cell. See, observe the solar cell, right? I'll take out solar cell and show you the solar cell. This is a solar cell, right? So next, I'll go over the formula. The formula is for the field factor is i maximum this is the i maximum so where i am indicating that one i maximum into v maximum so isc right isc into voc so i maximum v maximum isc into voc i maximum maximum of current maximum of voltage sc means short circuit current and open circuit voltage right clear that one so this is the field factor uh, diagram for that one the formula for uh, the solar cell, you know, I have show you that one, formula for the solar cell. So this is the formula, we have that one. Series resistance, uh, half into delta V1 into delta I1, delta I2, I1, I2. This is the delta I1, the people are written wrong. That one. So there is delta I1, delta I2, delta V1, delta V2. I mean to multiply by half this is the series resistance formula we are going to find and we are going to connect the circuit diagram and we observe that one so go for the circuit diagram first we will observe here circuit diagram so this is your circuit diagram see observe that one circuit diagram so the symbol of that one solar cell left side is showing that one three lines is indicating that one photons photons are there and this is your photons right this is your photons where it shows us indicating the one, my ammeter, voltmeter, and one more resistance here where it is not showing that one resistance circuit diagram properly, improper circuit diagram we have. So then we will see that one connection of this solar cell. Okay. So now I will bring that one. Uh, may I observe that one? This is this is solar cell, and uh, uh, this line is indicating that one uh, light. Light is going to fall on solar cell, and the solar cell is the PN junction. But I already know that one. And ammeter positive negatives, and this is the resistance symbol. This is the voltmeter. So we'll start this uh, circuit diagram connection from the positive of the solar cell to ammeter positive, and negative of the ammeter to resistance. Resistance to once again we'll go for the solar cell negative. So this is called series connection. So when I'm going to connect that one, when we are going to connect this voltmeter in parallel connection with that one resistance, so we'll do here that one. That's a circuit diagram. That one. Just we observe that one here. And uh, I'll go for that uh, positive of the solar cell. Positive of the solar cell, I'll take a big wire. Positive of the solar cell. Here we are going to see that one solar cell. Solar cell. And uh, I'll show that one here positive and negative. I'll connect here positive connection. So I'll connect here positive. Okay, positive of the solar cell to. I have connect here. Positive of the solar cell to ammeter positive. So this is your ammeter positive. We have that one. I'll connect here ammeter positive. Right here. Next. So I'll connect here ammeter negative two. So I'll go for here ammeter negative two resistance. So I'll come here ammeter negative two. Ammeter negative two resistance. Resistance will show here that one. So here positive negative, but uh, resistance there is no positive negative for that one. But even though I'll consider this one red, so positive. So ammeter positive negative two. So resistance, resistance another end to resistance another end. Where I have to connect resistance another end. Is the resistance another end? Resistance another end to solar cell negative. So resistance another end. I'm showing that one resistance another end. This one, resistance another end to solar cell negative. I have connected. This is called series connection. Once again, I'll go for the connections. So solar cell positive to ammeter positive, ammeter negative to resistance, resistance to solar cell negative. So now I have said that one. So yeah, so I have go for that one solar cell here. Solar cell positive. Where it's showing that one red color. Positive the solar cell too. I have connected here that one ammeter. So you see here ammeter. Ammeter to resistance. Resistance to 
once again i'll go for once again solar cell the remaining part you have this is called series connection the remaining part you have that one that is called voltmeter so voltmeter is connected this one here positive of the voltmeter to resistance so negative of the voltmeter to resistance i have to connect so i'll show you here that one so voltmeter positive this is the voltmeter we have so voltmeter positive to so resistance i have to connect resistance already connected now i'll go for the one here double patch okay double patch now voltmeter negative so i'll go for voltmeter negative this is the voltmeter negative so voltmeter negative so, so resistance resistance i have connected double patch this is the double patch where parallelly i connected here this is about the circuit diagram now i'll take out the we'll take out the reading so go for the table what is the table is contained with? so table we have that one we'll observe that one here observe observation table so voc we have isc we have so isc voc so this is the isc right isc voc isc means short circuit current and voc means open circuit voltage first you will find out these two and we'll go for that voltage versus current this is a voltage versus current is called the characteristics so your board you have that one you have shown that one solar cell characteristics now we are studying here that one the characteristics is voltage versus current characteristics now slowly i am going to increase the voltage so i will observe that one what happened here the current okay i note down that current readings right yeah. so now i will find out here that one uh, short circuit uh, uh, current that one short circuit means we have that one here so uh, resistance is zero when i am going to increase the here resistance knob so we observe that one voltmeter also is going to increase in that one see that one here. voltmeter also increasing so now i mean that one here the resistance is i placed here zero means voltage is showing that one zero here okay. so showing the zero so showing zero so i'll take out uh, readings that one first uh, first table you have this is the first table voltage versus current so i'll go for short circuit current so when we are going to say the short circuit resistance will keep here that one zero now i'll keep here zero that one voltage is zero that means that one highest current will show that one highest current will show see that one highest current will show that one so this is the highest current right uh, this is called short circuit current okay first you find out that one one line value so how to find out one line on line value inside the voltmeter and uh, ammeter so voltmeter i'll go for that one line value You'll find that one on voltmeter one line values. Just you observe that one one unit one unit is contain ten lines here. So one unit here ten lines is a point five, and one one point five two two point five means gap is two minus one point five one point five one point five minus one is one point five. One minus point five is a point five. See point five you have every time two minus one point five point five point five one one point five minus one point five, and one minus. 0.5 is 0.5 means 10 lines value is 0.5 on voltmeter okay voltmeter so 10 lines value is 10 lines value is a 0.5 so one line value is how much the cross multiplication you are doing that one so now 0.5 divided by 10 so now it is 0.05 is the one line value this is the one line value so one line value is a 0.5 in voltmeter and similarly, we'll observe that one one line value in is ammeter. So every ten lines value here. So ten lines value is 20, 20, 20, 20 gap you have means 20, 40, 60, 80, 100 means gap is 20, 20 you have. Ten lines value is 20 here. So in ammeter, so ammeter we have ten lines value is ten lines value is a 20. So one line value is how much? Okay, cross multiplication you are doing 20 by 10. Is the two that one value that one one line value? Right. I'll take the reading that one. How your have table is contained that one table is contained. So voltage versus current. Voltage versus current. I'll go for. I'm going to measure here two two lines. Voltage versus current. So slowly I'm going to increase using the knob. Two lines. Two lines slowly I'm going to increase. Two lines I increase that one. Two lines means I'll write here that one two into. One line value. One line value means so 0 0.05 is the one line value. So 2 into 0 0.05. 0 0.05. Some value you are getting that one. What is the measure that one? What is the current value here? Current value. You have find out then first how many lines you have. 10, 20, 22 lines means 22 into. So 
So 22 into online value is how much? 22 into 2. So value you are getting. This is the value of you are getting. That one means here 0 0.10 you are getting. Here you are getting that one. So 44 value you are getting means at 0 0.10 44. That means every two lines I am going to increase. Next fourth line you have to place 0 0.05. Next sixth line you have to place 0 0.05. Like that, you are getting the current values continuously. Okay, decreasing values you are getting that now. Next value is going to decrease 44. You have suppose you are getting 40, like 38, or like it is decreasing up to the knob will going to complete if we take out that one. Right, you see that one. I am going to increase in the value up to some value is the constant value, then slowly it is decreasing that one. Nanometer the value will going to decrease this continuously means. Here we got 44, and the remaining next value also 44, next value also 44, next value also 44. Then somewhere it is going to decrease us here. So 43, 42, you are getting somewhere here. In particular value, the constant value is showing that one. That you are getting the graph inside here. Graph we are going to observe. So voltage versus current. Okay. So up to particular value, particular of voltage value here is 0.25, 0.5, 0.75, 1. The value is going to constant, then slowly it is going to decrease this. Okay, decrease the value is showing that one. Now similarly, we are going to go for that one. The ISC find that one. At last, we have to find out the VOC. How to find out VOC? Uh, just simply we are going to observe that one. VOC means open circuit voltage. Okay, before you are going for a different distance. I placed here that one very nearer distance. Go for other distance. So you want to move away or uh, move closer, anything that one. I'll go for away that one. Before we are going for another distance, we find out the term VOC value. Open circuit means uh, there is no connection with that one. Open circuit. So I will take out all the connections. Open circuit. Now you consider only the solar cell connections, solar cell wires. Solar cell I have taken here. So solar cell we have one wire, positive of that one. Positive of the solar cell. This is the positive of the solar cell. Negative of the solar cell, I'll take out negative of the solar cell. Negative of the solar cell. So positive of the solar cell to positive of the voltmeter. So negative of the solar cell to negative of the voltmeter. Now here you observe that one. There is no any uh, there is no connections here. It indicating that one open circuit voltage. Now there is no effect on that one resistance on voltmeter. See observe that one. There is no effect that one. Means it's a open circuit. Directly we connected here that one solar cell to solar cell to here voltmeter means what is the maximum photons we are receiving solar cell that is displaying here that one in a voltmeter but uh, it is isn't properly not connected it's showing actually now it's showing that one maximum uh, voltage here that one, when you are connecting that one solar cell to directly voltmeter this voltmeter value is called that one open circuit voltage now you, you have to place here that one open circuit voltage what you are getting at last Starting, we are finding that one AC value, zero resistance, highest current. What you are getting that one, it is called short circuit current. So highest current you are getting from that highest current, the value will going to decrease slowly. Just you observe the values here. That one. Okay. At last, what you are getting the voltage is a 2.1 voltage. What you are getting the maximum voltage value is a two up to 2.1. That one. that you observe from here. That one. Okay, clear. For that one graph, you are getting first line. You are getting that one. So second the same way we are going to repeat this experiment for different distances. Now we will go, go away or uh, go away and observe that one. Once again you take out ISC, connect the circuit diagram ISC and find out voltage versus current. So voltage versus current values here and find out at last that one we will see before you are going for different distance. So second graph you are getting that one, second graph you are getting. Okay. So same way I will go for other distance here, other distance. Okay. So now once again connect the circuit diagram and find out the ISC and find out the values of voltage versus current values, voltage versus current value, take that one and at last you will go and find out that one VOC value that one. Okay. Three graphs, uh, three tables, uh, from the three tables you are getting three graphs you are getting. Okay. Now how you are going to find out here that one uh, alpha value, Okay. so sorry fill factor value. So using the formula, what you are what you have that one I maximum value, V maximum value, ISC value, VOC value. Just to find out here that one, how you are getting that one. Now you tell how you have to take out one rectangle here. How to take out the rectangle maximum fill factor? Okay. So just you draw one dot lines here from here and dot line from here. So where it is exactly overlap here? Somewhere it is going to overlap. Exactly using the scale you find out here. This is the curve point. 
okay so the people are taken here but somewhere here that one exactly point you have so draw the rectangle here first rectangle and same way for the second graph mm, observe that one using the scale here this is the lines you have so this is the lines and intersection point is somewhere you have and uh, see observe downside here the rectangle you have to draw three rectangles you have to draw from using three rectangles you are getting this value is i maximum value and same curved graph you are getting uh, sc voc value you are getting this. now so this is your i maximum i maximum sorry i isc so this is called isc and uh, this is called uh, this is your voc Okay, and rectangular what you are getting the value c is i maximum value this is i maximum value rectangle value the same rectangle value is a v maximum value you are getting that one this is your v maximum value you are getting from i maximum v maximum values we are getting that one here i maximum v maximum isc uoc you are getting pill factor okay the efficiency of the solar cell you are getting by pill factor and the same way you have to find out for a different three graphs you are getting that one three rectangles so i maximum v maximum isc uoc we are getting average it three pill factors we are getting one pill factor now so you have to find out three systems we require that one one delta v1 delta v2 delta i1 delta i2 how you are getting delta v1 delta v2 uh, subtract these two values so that is getting delta i i1 i2 value subtract these two values two rectangle values that is called delta i1 subtract these two rectangles on x axis that is called delta v2 Subtract these two rectangles that is called delta V1. Okay, substitute that values inside that one series resistance, and we are getting that one series resistance value. That value is what you are getting here. That one I show you. Right so the pill factor value nearly you had to get 0 0.6 or 0 0.5, 0 0.4. You are getting that one. Some people are getting 0 0.7. So in 0 point you are getting that one series resistance. In solar cell you have to get 9.74 or uh, 5 or 10, 20. That is the range you are getting, not more than 90, 100, like that, not uh, highest resistance, lowest resistance you are getting. Okay? So, this is about a fill factor. That is, thank you.